This is a short demonstration of the three um, libraries for Energia that I am publishing. Um, they are the Arduino style servo library, the uh, ultrasonic rangefinder library, and the data smoother library. And all three of them together form this demo. So I will start by pressing the second push button on the launch pad here, which will disable smoothing. And the red LED right there is on because I'm using the um, red LED channel for the servo. So um, what's happening here is this cardboard box is used to reflect the um, rangefinder's uh, or sonar pulse. And in between the 2 inch mark and the 12 inch mark on this ruler um, I'm mapping the distance of the box between 2 inches and 12 inches to 0 20 degrees on the servo horn. So as I move this box back and forth in front of the rangefinder, you can see the servo horn adjusting angle there. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's pretty jerky. Hold that up. You can see that it's it's twitching quite a bit. So this is where the smoother library comes in. So by pressing um, push 2 on the launch pad, I have now enabled the smoothing functionality. And now you can see that the horn is moving a little bit more smoothly from, from position to position. And also if I move the box quickly, you can see that the horn lags behind a little bit as the running average is calculated every um, every step. So um, with, with every new value that's being pushed into the smoother, there's another value being, or there's a, the running average being pulled out. So you can see that the, the running average follows the um, box position a little bit behind it. So that's what's happening there. And again, for comparison, I'll turn it off. There we go. And now it is no longer being smoothed. Now this is only a 10 value running average. Of course you can do 100 values or 1000 values or whatever, as, as much space as is available on, uh, in RAM for you to have a running average calculated from. Um, and the servo library supports up to eight servos. I only have one connected now, but uh, you can do up to eight with the current timer configuration. Um, that, that that could be there. There could be more in the future, depending on um, how people set up their timers. And um, the uh, ultrasonic rangefinder library will work with as many rangefinders as you can put on your I/O. So I only have one on here, because I only have one. But if I had 10 or 20, and I had 20 available pins on the launch pad, then I could install 20 of them and read values from them all. So yeah, thanks for watching. That's about it.